Hello everyone. Today we are going to uh, discuss about the scapula. Uh, this is the scapula. This is the anterior view of the scapula and this is the posterior view of the scapula. Scapula is a triangular shaped bone. Therefore, it has three borders. This is the upper border of the scapula. Also, it is called as superior border. It contains scapular notch in the superior border. And it is a very thin border. This is a medial border of the scapula. And this is the lateral border of the scapula, which is the thickest border of the scapula. As this is a triangular shaped bone, there are three angles in the scapula. This is the superior angle and inferior angle and lateral angle. This lateral angle, as you can see here, it expanded and it has formed a glenoid cavity. This glenoid cavity articulates with the head of the humerus forming shoulder joint. In this anterior surface of the scapula, there is a fossa called as subscapular fossa. This subscapular fossa gives rise to subscapularis muscle. It gives origin to the subscapularis muscle. This is the dorsal surface of the scapula. Dorsal surface has been divided into two parts by the spinous process of the scapula. They are uh, upper part of the uh, dorsal surface is called as supraspinous fossa and lower part is called as below the spinous process lower part is called as infraspinous fossa. This supraspinous fossa gives attachment to the supraspinatus muscle and infraspinous fossa gives attachment to the infraspinatus muscle. There are three processes in the scapula. They are, uh, first one is this spinous process of the scapula, then this acromion process of the scapula, second one, and the third one is coracoid process of the scapula. These are the muscle attachments of the fossae we talked previously to the uh, supraspinous fossa. Supraspinatus muscle is attached. This is the supraspinatus muscle. Um, this is the infraspinous fossa and it gives rise to origin of the infraspinatus muscle. Infraspinatus muscle. This is the anterior view and it uh, the subscapular fossa give rise to subscapularis muscle. This is the subscapularis muscle. These are the other muscle attachments of the scapula. You can see several blue lines as well as red lines. Uh, blue lines indicate muscle insertion and red lines indicate muscle origin. It is a standard uh, color coding. Um, in this medial border, entire medial border to the entire medial border anteriorly, serratus anterior muscle is attached. This is the subscapularis muscle and this is the coracoid process. To the coracoid process, only three muscles get attached. To the tip of the coracoid process, there are two muscles. First one is coracobrachialis and second one is short head of biceps brachii. To the upper surface of the coracoid process, pectoralis minor muscle is inserted. This is the dorsal surface of the scapula. From the dorsal surface of the scapula to the medial border, three muscles get, get attached, levator scapulae, rhomboids minor and rhomboids major. Uh, upper part from the root of the scapula, it means this part in the medial border, gives insertion to levator scapulae. Uh, root of the scapula gives insertions to uh, rhomboids minor and rest of the medial border from the dorsal aspect give rise to insertion of the rhomboids minor. To the lateral border, there are several muscle, muscles get attached. Um, one third, lower one third of the lateral border. This is the lower one third of the lateral border and it gives origin to the teres major muscle. This is the upper two third of the lateral border. It gives rise to origin of the teres minor muscle. To the angle, inferior angle of the scapulae, 
small slip of the latissimus dorsi muscle is also inserted. There are two tubercles, uh, upper and lower of the glenoid cavity. Upper tubercle is called as superior glenoid cavity, superior glenoid tubercle. Then lower tubercle is called as uh, infraglenoid tubercle. Those two tubercles are also give rise to muscle attachments. Upper uh, supraglenoid tubercle give rise to origin of the long head of biceps brachii. While this infraglenoid tubercle give rise to uh, long head of triceps brachii. In uh, both muscles, biceps brachii and triceps brachii, you can remember easily long heads get attached to the supraglenoid tubercle and infraglenoid tubercle. Also, to the spinous process of the scapula, trapezius muscle uh, get inserted and um, deltoid muscle get origin from the spinous process of the scapula. These are the supraspinatus muscle and infraspinatus muscle. So these are the uh, anatomy uh, of a scapula. Hope you gain some knowledge about the scapula. Next video I will talk about anastomosis around the scapula. Thank you for watching.